Ladies and gentlemen, the House passed the Crown Act that will prohibit schools and employees from discriminating based on our hairstyles. You know, the only reason why they went to hair, ladies and gentlemen, is because they could no longer, although they still do, discriminate based on skin, but, you know, they can't make that very apparent. So when they couldn't do the skin openly anymore, they ran to hair because our hair is different from other groups on this planet. And so that's all. They're still doing the same level of discrimination, just hiding behind the hair. So Black people who wear natural hairstyles like afros, cornrows, and tightly coiled twists should not face bias in society, schools, or the workplace. And this is what the House said Friday in voting to make it explicit that such discrimination is a violation of federal civil rights law. There are folks in this society who think because your hair is kinky, it's braided, it's in knots, or it's not straight, blonde, and or light brown, that you somehow are not worthy of access. This is what Democratic Rep. Bonnie Watson Coleman, the lead sponsor of the bill, said during a debate on the House floor. Well, that's discrimination. The House voted 235 to 189 to prohibit discrimination based on hair texture and hairstyles like that, uh, you know, tightly coiled, curled, or if locks are worn, corn rolls, twists, braids, bantu knots, or afros. The bill now goes to the Senate, where its fate is uncertain. President Joe Biden already said he would sign the bill, known as the Crown Act, into law. Now, that's a damn shame. Nobody else's hair is in question. But in order for discrimination to stop against us, a bill must be passed. That says a lot about American society, no matter how much y'all try to say, you know, it's not the same It's the racism is ill. We come a long way, obviously not long enough. If you got to do something like this for one group, but nobody else is facing it. All but 14 Republicans voted against the measure, calling it unnecessary and a distraction. Well, it wouldn't be unnecessary if schools and jobs would not be doing this to people. Then you would be right. It would be unnecessary, but this stuff is still going on in this wicked nation. They said protections against hair discrimination already exist in several federal laws. Yeah, well, you know, when the Catholic school or even public school or your job, uh, you know, nobody is talking about these laws then. So obviously it is a necessary measure, but it just goes to show how America has not come a long way at all. This is what the Democrats are focused on, said one Republican rep, Jim Jordan. Yeah, well, Jim Jordan, you don't go through this. Y'all got all kinds of things to give you a lifetime full of benefit of the doubt and leeways. That's what you got for yourself. So, you know, people like you shouldn't even be commenting on this. It doesn't impact you. Okay, uh, 14 months of chaos and we're doing a hair bill. Well, yeah, tell your people to stop discriminating and you won't have to do a hair bill, Jim Jordan. But House Democrats noted that in several instances, judges have dismissed civil rights cases on the basis that the law does not directly cover discrimination 
on the basis of hair. Yes, and, and the people out here that's using afros and locks and all that as reasons for discriminating, they know that. They know they got a loophole in the law by doing that. The House bill makes it clear that hair is in fact included. Supporters uh, pointed to a 2019 study by Dove that showed that one in five black women working in office or sales settings have said that they had to alter their natural hair. The study also found that black students are far more likely to be suspended for dress code or hair violations, and which is stupid. I mean, our hair is just different. So, you know, so we got to conform to you. Oh, I tell you what, I won't be conforming to you. My hair is natural and it's going to stay natural. Okay, Coleman, a New Jersey Democrat, began to work on the proposal after two incidents of discrimination made national headlines. One involved Maya and Dean Cook of Malden, Massachusetts. In 2017, the twin sisters were told that their high school, uh, they had to remove their box braid. They refused saying that the policy was discriminatory, which it is, and unevenly enforced school administrators told them that the ban on hair extensions had been designed to foster a culture that emphasized education rather than style, fashion, or materialism, which is not fit, which is definitely a load of BS. They have even gotten, because I did a story on black children that had um, dye in their hair, you know, and, and every time they complain about the hair, the hair is really neat looking. I know there is nothing wrong with the way the hair looks. They will treat you in that type of way, Dina Cook told the Associated Press in an interview. This is why we need the Crown Act, because kids are being hurt from this so badly. Massachusetts Attorney General eventually stepped in and ordered school officials to abandon the rule, which they did. But Maya and Dina, now college students, said the traumatic experience stay with them. Of course it does. And that was the goal. You expect the administration of your school to have your back, to be rooting for you and cheering you on, Maya Cook said. And for us, it was the total opposite. They were trying to tear you down. In December 2018 incident in New Jersey, a high school student was forced to choose between forfeiting his wrestling game or cutting off his his locks. Andrew Johnson, then 16, got his hair cut courtside and went on to win the match, but he appeared visibly distraught by what had happened. I'll tell you, watching that was heartbreaking, Coleman said, but the fact that uh, he withstood that humiliation and the public humiliation and immediately went on and won the match says so um yeah you know he went on and won the match and and i remember he was also biracial his mother was in that audience and i didn't see her in any of the shots trying to defend her son that that was just that blew me away more than a dozen states have already passed legislation aimed at banning race-based discrimination of hair in employment, housing, school, and military. The Associated Press investigation documented how some Black female service members faced discrimination in the ranks, navigating a culture that often labeled them as aggressive or difficult, and their natural hair uh, as unkept or unprofessional. Cory Booker, a uh, senator of New Jersey, the lead sponsor in the Senate, said passage of the bill will um, 
it should ensure that all people can wear their hair proudly without fear uh, or prejudice. No one should be harassed, punished, or fired for their natural hairstyles that are true to themselves and their culture heritage, Booker said. Yeah, the same Cory Booker that didn't think you should have reparations. <laughs> yeah, that Cory Booker. Well, I don't think anybody should be uh, discriminated because of their hairstyle. Like I said, this is just another loophole for them to get at us, as usual. And, you know, it wouldn't be necessary to do this if America was not bearing a lot of racism even to this day. But y'all, please tell me what you think about the House passing this bill, and now it's in the Senate, you know? And just remember, these are people, especially in the Senate, that can't relate at all to the things that we have gone through. They're looking at everything through their eyes. And, you know, if you don't face discrimination over your hair, it's hard for you to understand what the problem is. And it just goes to show you how out of touch they are with the things that go on in this country on a regular basis. It also proves that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.